Hey, coming to you from somewhere in Sao Paulo, and to tell you the truth, I have absolutely nowhere, no idea where I'm coming from. I'm uh, completely lost. So I thought, oh, must be time to make a video. And boy, did I luck out. I stepped into a local establishment, got myself a drink, and um, just as I did, this huge rainstorm burst out outside. So if I had waited another five minutes, I'd be drenched right now trying to find a doorway to crawl into. All right, well, what I want to talk to you about today is um, uh, your basic introduction to information. And this introduction that I give you today ought to suffice really for most of what we want to do during this course. So I want to give you some basic concepts of information, or at least my variety of information, what I tend to think of information, that'll help you through the rest of the course in order to um, understand the rest of what we talk about when we talk about information. Okay, so let me give you a very simple definition, the one that we'll work with for the rest of this class. Nothing complicated at all. Information is the stuff you want to consume. The books, the music, the video, the sound, all those different things, the web pages, the blogs, the Wikipedia articles, the Facebook profiles, all the stuff that you want to consume um, is information. And that's really as far as I want to go with it. I don't want to differentiate it too much from data. We're going to overlap those things a lot. If you take other courses in information science, you'll get a whole lot more detail about this. But I want to give you a simple idea and one that you can use for really the rest of your life if you never study this further in order to understand what's going on with information. All right, so the definition I've given you is a really simple one. It's the stuff that we consume. This video, for example, is information. So not too hard to understand. 